One Piece will end. For as much as we'd like to deny that, it's the truth. For as much as we'd like to pretend that this series is going to go on forever, and for as much as we'd like to not think about this fact, it's just the truth. At some point or another, One Piece will end. But then, the question is not so much about if One Piece will end, but more about when One Piece will end. Fans have often speculated about the end of the series, about trying to figure out in which year it's going to end. But fans are not the only ones who have speculated about this, because Oda himself has often talked about when he personally thinks that the series will end. However, we all know that Oda's own estimates are completely inaccurate, right? We know that Oda just makes random numbers up, goes back on his words, and always says that, oh, there's only five years left. Or does he? Because, no, in fact, he doesn't. There's a lot of misinformation and a lot of fake rumors that easily spread around, but contrary to what you might have been led to believe, Oda is actually very consistent when it comes to his estimates about how much there is left in this series. So, as someone who has often catalogued and researched some of these things, as well as directly translated some of the interviews in which he has stated some of these things, I thought that I would go back and search through every single one of Oda's interviews where he mentions how much time left there is in the series and properly catalog them together, every single one, to compare them to one another and see really accurately exactly where it is that Oda thinks One Piece will end. So, without further ado, let's directly check exactly what Oda's estimates about how much left there is in the series are. Now, Oda has talked about how much left there is in the series in two different formats. The first format is percentages. Percentages indicate how much of the story Oda believes has been completed out of a total of 100%. On the other hand, instead, we have years left, which are, quite simply, the number of years that are left in the series. These are two very different formats, so let's tackle them one by one. First, percentages. The important thing to understand about percentages is that percentages aren't exactly mathematical percentages. Oda doesn't take the current chapter that last came out and does the mathematical calculations to understand the exact specific percent of how much that covers in the total number of chapters in the series. No, rather, the percentages are just a general idea of what Oda has felt that he has covered in terms of story. So he usually considers a large chunk of the story a certain percentage, and when that percentage is completed, he considers that added to the total percentage. So if Oda sees this saga or part of the story as 5% or 10%, once it's completed, he adds it to that. So, instead of using chapters or mathematical percents, instead we are simply going to refer to each percent by the point of the arc that Oda was talking about at that point. Because as we'll see, Oda usually mentions these percents at the start of a new arc slash saga or at the end of it. And we'll realize soon enough that these percents actually subdivide the story in quite a neat way. The very first proper estimate is the time skip itself. Now, this was mentioned a bit retroactively a bit later in a 2015 interview with Oda's editor Sugita, where he mentioned that uh, Oda told him that the time skip marks the halfway point of the series, particularly up to volume 60, that is, the first half of One Piece. So, in other words, the time skip would mark the 50% of the series. Then, at the end of Punk Hazard, towards the end of 2012 going into 2013, we have what was chronologically the first percent to properly be mentioned, which was One Piece being 60% done by the end of Punk Hazard. Then, later, in the middle of this Rosa, around 2014, in the One Piece Taiwan Exhibition, Onishi, one of Oda's editors, estimated that One Piece was about between 60 to 70% done. 
This was an estimate by the editor, but this does line up with what has been said before and what will be said later. Then, by the end of this Rosa, over his editor Sugita, uh, once again in the same interview that he mentioned the other thing, he vaguely estimated that, you know, in his words, maybe we're at 70%. Again, this was a very wild estimate, but as we'll see, it actually does line up quite accurately. And then, at the start of Whole Cake Island, Oda said in the Dai One Piece Shimbun, One Piece was 65% complete. And this is one of the things that tripped up a lot of people, that made a lot of people think that, okay, Oda really is inaccurate and he's sort of awkwardly estimating things. I mean, it's been four years and that's only 5%. So, a lot of people took this as Oda being very inaccurate with his estimates. But, what most people don't know is that this was an error. And in fact, that very same week, in an interview with Fuji TV, Oda corrected himself and said that the 65 estimate was a mistake. And instead corrected it, saying that the estimate was somewhere around 70% instead. This actually lines up a lot more and makes sense with the previous estimates. And then, finally, at the start of Wano, Oda estimated that One Piece was arriving at the 80% mark in a Yomiuri Shinbun interview. If we look at all of these estimates together, they're actually generally quite accurate. If we put all of these together, then it sort of starts to make sense. If we consider the entirety of the post time skip a 50%, then we can actually quite neatly divide it into five parts. The first part would be Fishman Island and Punk Hazard, the 60%. The second part would be Dressrosa, the 70%. The third part would be Hokkaid Island, alongside Zo and maybe even Rever if you want to, which would form 80%. And then, the 90% part would be the Wano arc, or Wano saga. And then, the final 10% would probably be the final saga. Now, obviously, I don't need to tell you that both Wano and the final saga are probably going to be a lot longer than these previous three ones. But, because it's just simpler to divide each of these into five, because the new world is formed by these, like, big five parts, then it makes sense that Oda divided each of them into 10%. Rather than just calculating on a chapter-by-chapter -chapter basis, he considered each chunk a percent, and every time one of them was completed, he updated us. So, it seems to line up quite accurately. We're heading towards the end of Wano, and by that point we'll have be around 90% done, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the series is almost over, because the final saga is almost surely going to be the longest saga in the series, and it might even be formed by several arcs, which might also include some setup arcs. These are just general estimates, they are just general numbers about how much has been covered, but what is a lot less of a general estimate is the amount of years. Because when it comes to years, years are just hard numbers. Now, in terms of early estimates, there's an interview that Oda did with Manga Omo in 2002, which was archived by Sandman, where he said that he just generally estimated that if he wanted to draw everything that he wanted to, then it would take him about 20 years to finish the series. Since this was in 2002, this would put it in 2022, and... Put together, well, it's not that inaccurate. Obviously, this was a wild guess done very, very early on, and I wouldn't really consider this a proper estimate, considering how early it was, but it lines up surprisingly well. Something also to mention is that while One Piece originally started in 1997 and has been going on up until now, originally, Oda didn't intend to let the series last very long. He mentioned much later that he actually intended the series to be somewhere around five-ish years long. Uh, he said that he would do like a year or a year plus, maybe a year and a half of East Blue, where Luffy gets all the straw hats. Then there would be three years of sailing through the Grand Line and having adventures. He even revealed that this was where he, Luffy was originally going to fight the Yonko. 
And then there was gonna be one year of a final saga. Of course, things became much, much longer. The East Blue lasted two years and Luffy didn't even recruit everyone in the crew there. And a lot of things just started to pile up. So it's obvious that the series just extended long since before that point. But that was long, long ago. That was when Oda was starting out and he didn't really have an idea like he does now. The problem is that a lot of people take this claim of Oda saying that he originally wanted it to be 5 years and use it to say that Oda has been saying 5 years a lot, but just because Oda intended 5 years all the way back then, it doesn't mean that he really gave that estimate at any point, it's only something that he mentioned retroactively. The first proper mention of how many years there are left in the series was actually in 2014. In the One Piece Taiwan exhibition we mentioned before where Oda's editor Onishi estimated that One Piece would end in 10 years. That would put it at 2024. And then, later that year, in a China Times interview, Oda estimated that he could keep drawing for another 10 years. This statement lined up with Onishi's estimate and Oda was basically estimating that yeah, he was expecting to probably be done by 2024. Then it happened. Last year, in 2019, Oda had an interview with the YouTuber group Fishers. And in this interview, Oda stated very bluntly that he wanted to end One Piece in five years. Now, people obviously panicked about this and were saying, oh, well, no, it's Oda saying five years again, but this is actually the only one instance where Oda has mentioned there are five years left in the series. He has never mentioned this again. Fans weren't the only ones to be skeptic. In fact, Oda's own editor, Naido, was a little bit skeptic at first, but then he later corrected himself by saying that Oda's statement was actually very realistic. Naito specifically stated that oh, while Oda tends to lengthen things, he also warned fans that if Oda says it will be 5 years, then it will surely end in 5 years, and warned readers to get on the hype train to ride the wave while there is still time, because at some point, even if it's sooner or later, the series is going to end. And that takes us to this year, 2020, where in this summer, in a TV interview with Arashi, Oda stated confidently that One Piece had four to five years left. Now, it's not four years left, but it's, you know, between four and five. Uh, a lot of people seem to think that this is Oda saying five years again, when it's not. Between four to five years is not the same number of five years, it's less. But that's probably because Oda has had to take a lot more breaks this year. As we all know, Oda has increased his breaks quite a lot across this year, and unavoidably that has delayed things. This year released less chapters than there were originally going to be released, and this just means that the eventual ending of One Piece has slowly been delayed. So instead of being a clean four years, it makes sense that it would be four or five years instead. What is more interesting, however, was an ESPS that came out just a couple of weeks after this interview was done on TV. A fan specifically asked Oda if One Piece really was gonna end in five years. Now, because of the mention of five years here, and considering that this came literally right after the interview, and considering that these letters are sent physically to Shueisha, and then the books need to be published and all that stuff, this was most likely sent before the TV show happened. Oda maybe might have already recorded it, and so he wanted to address this matter, but regardless, this is mentioning the interview from last year, the one about five years left, but it is still regardless talking about the impending ending of the series. And Oda quite simply answered that, yes, it is ending. To literally quote him, I made such a statement so readers could be mentally prepared to understand that even a story, as long as this one, is properly heading towards its end. Oda is telling fans directly through the volumes, through the official release that everybody reads, that One Piece is ending and that the end is going to happen. Beyond this, the One Piece magazine also released recently and it bared a tagline that mentioned the ending, the climax of the series. This is the first time that any official piece of media has talked about the climax of the series, the ending being something that is going to happen in the near future. It's 
actually happening. And if we look at Oda's yearly estimates here, they're all pretty accurate. In 2014, he said 10 years, last year he said 5 years, and this year, obviously, because of the delays, he said 4 to 5 years. But the number is still on that track. So, does that mean that One Piece will officially end in 4 to 5 years? Maybe. And this is because, even despite all this, even despite all the misinformation about Oda's statements and the fact that they're actually very, very accurate, even if Oda is accurate and firmly believes this is when One Piece will end, sometimes he extends the story. For example, some of you who have been in the community for a few years might know the whole thing about Wano 2017. Oda mentioned that we would be entering Wano by the end of 2017, but he ended up extending the arc of Whole Cake Island. It was meant to end somewhere around after the tea party, but then it ended up going and going, we got the whole battle with Katakuri, and it just ended up being extended. And we only entered Wano next year. So those types of things do happen, sometimes the story extends itself. And the same could happen here. Maybe instead of 4 or 5 years, it'll be 5 years or 6 years or maybe 7. But I think the important thing to understand is that even if the story is extended, we're not gonna magically get another decade out of nowhere. We're not going to get another extra 5 years out of nowhere. Because Oda has already said that he has everything in mind very clearly. In the Arashi interview, he even mentioned that he was very confident about where the series is going to be headed now. So I, while I totally see him like maybe extending the final arc a little bit or you know maybe it takes him a bit longer to tell what he wants to say i don't think he's going to randomly throw in a new arc that he just never had in mind and that he never foreshadowed or set up and that he's just going to extend the series by years and years and years the reality is that while one piece can realistically go over four or five years it's not gonna be by that much maybe one more year maybe two you know maybe it's seven years total but I really don't see it going beyond seven years, and I really don't think it's realistic to think that One Piece is going to go on, like, another decade. The truth is, One Piece is ending, and that's just a reality we gotta accept. And something that has really surprised me in this community is just the sheer amount of denial there is to the idea that One Piece will end. And I get it. I don't want One Piece to end. I mean, when One Piece ends, I'm out of a job. <laughs> and something that has been such an important thing for my whole life, it's going to be gone. I'm going to have to move on, and something that has been so important across my entire life just won't be there anymore. It's heartbreaking, it's rough, it's not something I want to go through, but I know that I have to go through it. Even if I want to be in denial, I think it's important to accept that it will happen. Hell, some people are so much in denial that they are actively accusing Oda of lying. They're saying that Oda is lying because he wants to sell more copies and get richer, or he's lying just because he wants to prank his fans, and... I mean, really? After reading this quote about Oda that he's saying this because he wants us to mentalize ourselves and to properly enjoy the ending, do you really think he's just lying to fill his pockets? Are we really that much in denial where we're just gonna come up with weird excuses just to justify the fact that something we like is going to end? It's like having a family member who is old and sick. You know they're going to pass away. Maybe they take an extra year, a couple extra years. Maybe they'll last a bit longer, but that's just life. Things start and things end. That's just how things are meant to be, and no matter how much we might be in denial, these things just come to an end. But I don't want to end this on a bitter note. Um, it is sad that One Piece is going to end, and that is something we have to accept. But regardless, you know, half a decade is still a lot of time. There is still so much that can happen, and even better, 
The best part of the story is coming up. The final song is going to be the most amazing thing we've go we're ever going to see. It's going to absolutely outdo everything in the series. Oda said that the final saga would make Marine for look cute. The final saga is going to be absolutely amazing. I have no doubts about that. And it's going to be something that is going to bring us all One Piece fans together in such an amazing way. And I have no doubts that Oda is going to deliver a massive, amazing ending. I understand why some fans are scared by this prospect of 4 to 5 years because they think that the story is going to be too rushed, that Oda is just going to speed through things, and that there's just too many mysteries to talk about in such a small time. But you have to keep in mind two things. For one, stories don't necessarily need to be massive. The final arc or the final saga doesn't really need to be 300 chapters long or absolutely massive. Some of the most intense uh, arcs in the series, some of those that have some of the biggest world-changing events like Marineford or Reverie are incredibly short. Hell, Marineford is just barely over 30 chapters long. And when it comes to all the mysteries, they're probably all going to be revealed at once towards the end. There are so many mysteries that are so intrinsically tied together to the Void Century and the Great Kingdom that we're probably going to get them all at once. It's going to be like Reverie Christmas every week. And I can't wait. Regardless, what I'm getting at is just trust in Oda. Oda isn't doing this because he's on a deadline. He doesn't want to finish quickly because he has to. He's just doing it because he feels like that's the natural end. So just have faith in Oda. And on the flip side, while this final saga is probably going to be amazing, of course, once it ends, it ends. And no matter how amazing the final chapters may be, the end of the series is... Like I said, a bitter event, something that is going to be hard to swallow. But just because One Piece will end doesn't mean that it's going to be the end of it all. And I don't mean this in the sense that there may be other material, you know, like an anime remake or other projects, even if Oda isn't directly involved. I mean that in a different way, that even if the One Piece manga comes to an end, even if the One Piece manga dies... One Piece will still live on. Because ask yourself this. When is it that a manga dies? Is it when it ceases to realization? No. Is it when it comes to an end? No. Is it when it falls to irrelevancy? No. It's when it's forgotten.